Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, March 30th today. About 12.15 in the afternoon, and I woke up maybe about 20 minutes ago. Seriously, you guys, this whole like COVID-19 quarantine lockdown thing has screwed up my sleeping schedule so much. You guys have no idea. I've been sleeping until noon. I've been staying up till four. And mind you, when things were normal, I was getting up at like 2.30 for work, going to bed by 7.30, 8 o'clock, and now my whole schedule is just like completely fucked. Um, so basically, the plan was I was gonna go back to work and I was gonna work during all of this because my job is considered essential because it's a coffee shop. As to why it's considered essential, I don't know. I don't consider coffee essential. Like, I get it's good, but it's a little dramatic. Anyway, I was like, hey, if you can work me like 30 hours a week, that would be awesome. Just like 4.30 to, you know, 10 or something like that, like five days a week, that would be awesome. And it turned out that she was not able to do that just because she wanted to give everyone enough hours and enough fair work and stuff like that. And I understood that and basically, so I wasn't able to get the hours that I needed to survive. So I had to sign up for unemployment and I have been out of work since March 14th. So that's just the reality of the situation. I know I'm not the only one. There are a ton of other people around me and a ton of other people that have been laid off or fired or can't work because they have kids and their kids are home. So, I mean, it's just an absolute mess right now. I was able to sign up for unemployment. The site was just absolutely fucking insane. It kept crashing. The only time I was able to get through was like Friday morning at, at 3 a.m. Because luckily I was still awake because my sleep schedule's fucked up. So I was finally able to get on. I'm still waiting. I don't even know how long it's going to take, honestly, because I think like over 3.3 million people signed up for unemployment but my hours got cut so that is why i am signed up for unemployment and my phone's ringing hang on hello i am still doing youtube obviously but i mean if i'm being totally real and transparent with you guys my youtube income is nowhere near enough to completely support myself by myself which is why i have another job because i'm not stupid you know foreseeable future i don't know how like any of this is gonna go because i was supposed to start school on april 27th and donald trump extended the social distancing thing until like april 30th now i don't know what michigan's governor is gonna do uh, i do know that there are some schools in michigan right now that are out of school the rest of the year which is terrifying for parents I'm so sorry yum I'm using my high school graduation mug look at that that's me and my principal he was such a nice guy yeah he was one of those principals where because you know how like in schools like everyone favors like the jocks and the cheerleaders and the you know the popular kids he was the kind of principal that favored well, not favorite, I shouldn't use that word, but he was nicer to like the outcasts, the misfits, the loners. I think the most important thing during like this quarantine and stuff is keeping yourself busy and giving yourself something to do. And I've actually been doing a really good job of that. You know, obviously I've been doing YouTube, so I've been filming, editing, uploading. Uh, I've been working on little like DIY projects. I've been cleaning my house. Um, getting rid of stuff. I redid my entire filming room. My entire filming room is completely different and I will take you guys on a little tour of that. I'm really good at this quarantine thing because at heart I am such a homebody and I'm such a loner. And if I didn't have like YouTube or something like to work on at home, I would probably go absolutely insane. And today is March 30th, which means it is my sister's 25th birthday. I feel so bad for her because, you know, she wanted to go out and celebrate for her birthday. She like she wanted to go to Olive Garden, she wanted to go out for drinks, and she can't. So, she's going to have to do all of her celebrating at home. I'm sure she could get takeout from Olive Garden. Olive Garden is like her favorite restaurant, and it's also like kind of bittersweet because it's been a year and 7 months since my dad passed away. And this is my sister's second birthday without him. And she's also 25 and I was 25 when my dad passed away. So it's just, it's just weird. Everything in the world is just fucking weird right now. Anyway, let's move on. 
I want to actually clean my dishwasher. And I know that probably sounds weird to a lot of you. I wanted to clean my dishwasher because I was sitting down, I was watching TV and I saw this commercial and they were like, hey, did you know if your dishwasher isn't clean and sanitized then your dishes aren't clean and sanitized? And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I turned another light on because that lighting was starting to suck. I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. And then they advertised this product. So the last time I went out to do a water run, I got it. And we're gonna try this 100% better cleaning, finish dishwasher cleaning, hygienically cleans hidden grease and lime scale. Just looks like this. And we are going to give it a try. I did a load of dishes last night because you have to run this when the dishwasher is completely empty. So I got all the dishes done and uh, yeah, we're just gonna give it a try here. So I guess you're supposed to rip off this little sticker thing. And there's like this little wax plug. Ooh, it smells good. I'll show you guys my a dishwasher. Mm. All right, so here's my dishwasher, all empty. Um, it could probably use a good cleaning, you know? So we'll see uh, what this thing does. So basically, what does it say? Place bottle upside down in the bottom dish rack. Okay, right, so uh, we're gonna put it right there. So it's right in the middle. And then it says to run it on hottest cycle. Let's see how it does. Can you tell I have nothing else better to do? I literally just vlogged myself cleaning my dishwasher. Ugh. So it's raining. We can't go for a walk right now. So, and the dogs were starting to get a little bored. So I eat, made them their own little licky mat. I actually got these off of Chewy. And basically it's like this rubber material and you can put like peanut butter or wet dog food or any treat that they like on it. And basically it's like a game and it keeps them busy and they have to try to get all of the peanut butter and stuff out from underneath the little thing. So I have some peanut butter, don't worry, it doesn't have any xylitol in it. And then I also have some organic plain uh, yogurt that they can eat. So I just gave them this little treat for something to do. They both really like it. Here's Avril's. She loves to lick. Like she's constantly licking people's faces. She's licking objects all the time. So this is something that's really good for her. And you know, it's good for if you have dogs that are super bored and licking also releases endorphins for dogs. So it makes them happy, keeps them busy. But yeah, you can see. <laughs> I think that's super cute. Yep, and they're just called licky mats, and these are for dogs and cats. So licky mat, see there. And the peanut butter, good girl. Another really cool thing that I made because I was bored. <laughs> I was watching Graveyard Girl's YouTube channel and she did a video where she was testing out this new TikTok makeup hack thing. And basically you get a mason jar, a bar of soap, and a cheese grater. You shave down the entire bar of soap with a cheese grater, put it in the mason jar, pour some boiling water in there and freeze it for 24 hours. And the next day you have this little thing which is just like hardened soap, kind of like a makeup brush cleaner. And I used it yesterday and it works so well. So I figured I would show you guys how it works. But basically it's equivalent to like the Beauty Blender solid cleaner. But this technique is obviously a lot bigger and it is a lot cheaper. Like I don't even know how much the Beauty Blender solid cleaner is, but uh, this is definitely a cheaper option. So yeah, I would figure it if you guys want to, you know, make something at home during your little quarantine and you're bored and there's nothing to do, this is a really fun thing to do. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I have a couple little uh, battle wounds from the cheese grater, but uh, you know, it was all worth it because now we have a cool little makeup brush cleaner. I just get the brush wet a little bit and then you just take it and you rub it in the soap. And as you can see, it gets all dirty and the brush gets clean. 
I don't know, I thought this was like a super cool idea and it's actually really effective. Rinse it like that and you have a perfectly clean brush. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was like super fun. <laughs> and you can also use it on beauty blenders too, I'm assuming, just get them a little bit wet. And then just rub it in the soap. And that's really all you do and I just rinse off the top layer and then I'll just let it dry with the lid off so it can like fully solidify again but yeah it's like a really cool and super effective DIY so if you guys are you know trapped at home with nothing to do and you have a pile of dirty makeup brushes or beauty blenders I will link graveyard girls video down below and you guys can try it for yourself and you can do this all for under ten dollars I think I got a pack of four mason jars for like five dollars and then i got a pack of soap this is just a dial antibacterial soap and this was like three dollars so like under 10 bucks you can make your own little like beauty blender soap i just wanted to share that with you guys i thought it was super cool unique and i wanted to try it out on camera so if you guys want to check out graveyard girls video then i will have that linked down below All right, guys, so my dishwasher just finished. Oh, nice. Wow, that's really clean. Okay, okay. Wow. Everything looks really clean in there. Oh, hell yeah. All right, and then we can move this out of the way. Yep, and then now this is completely empty, so. Wow, that was actually really awesome. So if you guys want to clean your dishwasher so you can have cleaner dishes and whatnot, definitely pick one of these up. I just got this at the grocery store. I think it was like five, five to eight dollars, I think. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. You've done well, sir. You've done well. Okay guys, so it is a little bit later in the afternoon. It's around, I think 3.30 right now, and I wanted to give you guys a full tour of my new filming room. I am so obsessed with the way it's set up. It just makes so much more sense. It's way more functional. I just, I love it so much. So very quickly, I'm gonna insert a before shot of my filming room. is the after Ta -da! so right when you walk in we still have my desk over here all of that stayed the same um i do really like to edit on this wall because i don't have anything to distract me just a plain wall and i can just sit here and edit and do all of my bills and stuff so that hasn't changed i just have a couple lights there and then over here, we just have my paper shredder trash. And then when you turn over here, now this may look a little bit different to some of you because right here is where I used to have my printer. And then where my background is, is where I used to have the dresser. Well, the dresser, I moved to this side of the wall. So up top, I just have like all of my perfumes and a couple of things right here. I have the glorious Doug Bradley right there, duh. And then I have a candle and basically in this dresser is where I keep like 
lenses, uh, filming stuff down here. I keep like extra cords. Uh, I have an extra lipstick thing. Just some, just some random stuff in there. And here is where I keep like office supplies. So like pens, pencils, glue stick, uh, coloring book, those types of things. I also have some printer paper in there too. Here is where I keep all of my backgrounds. So I have like my red one, black one, I have my silver one. And then down here is where I keep like extra laptops, tablets, phone cases, all that good stuff. So right when you walk in, we just have this dresser right here. I just felt like it made more sense uh, to have it on this wall because the whole the whole point of redoing my filming room is to have my backgrounds up and be able to leave them up indefinitely instead of having to put them up, tear them down, you know, all that stuff because before my background would be set up and it would take off this whole half of the room because I used to face the window when I would film and now I'm facing this way. I hope that makes sense. So I'm able to have my backgrounds up all the time. Uh, over here we still have just my closet. I don't really get in this closet that often. That's where I keep a lot of like holiday decorations. Um, over here just my necklaces, that hasn't changed. I had to take these two pictures down. I had them originally right here, but I had to take those down to make room. So I just have them in the corner. Right underneath the window is where I moved my printer. And then for the really cool part, this is where I come to sit down and film. This is my whole new setup. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So the first thing is I did get a new desk to have in my filming room. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot bigger and it just, it just makes way more sense. I got this off of Facebook. Someone was selling it on like the Facebook marketplace. And you know, I mean, it's not perfect, but it is so much more functional and makes so much more sense. It has like a little drawer right here where I keep like memory cards, batteries, chargers, uh, camera cases, things like that. I have my monitor here, and then of course I have my filming lights, which I keep up. And then on my desk, I have access to like all of my lipsticks. I have a mirror here. I have like face brushes, beauty blenders, a bunch of other brushes, all of my makeup. All of my makeup now is easily accessible right here next to my filming spot. So when I'm filming and I need to grab something, I can just reach right here. So this just makes so much more sense. Hopefully you guys can get like the full gist of what it looks like. And then of course I have my background up right here, which I can have up all the time. And over in this corner, I moved my entire Jeffree Star Cosmetics collection. I just thought it would look cute over here, have its own little designated wall where I could have everything. And then I just keep like some extra palettes down there. But so you moved this guy over here and it's nice because I can actually have access to the window and I can open and close the blinds a lot easier because before I would have to sneak around my lights to go and open up the blinds. So now when I sit to film, it's just, there's so much room. Like, I wish you guys could just, like, understand how much room that I have. Especially for, like, Halloween season. I have so much more room to work with, and I think it'll just make my life a whole lot easier. So, I'm very excited. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And so, when I'm sitting down, here is what I get to look at. Like, look at all of that room. You have this whole freaking space here. And then over here, I just have a couple random tripods just sitting here because I need them for uh, upcoming videos that I need to film. So I just have those up, but all everything is plugged in. I have like some extra stuff down here, like some eyelashes, uh, my piercing stuff. Yeah, that is my new filming room setup. I am super happy. With the way it turned out, I think it looks really good. It looks kind of cluttered when you're standing in the doorway, but like when you walk in and you come around this way, it's like, ta-da.
you boy? What you doing? He's like, what are you doing? Trickleberry. Hello. Oh. Oh. I'm here too. I'm here too. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, you are. Aww. Where are your toys? Is she gonna come back with the toy? Oh, Dickleberry. Where are your toys? Is that your toy? You better get it. Get a boy. Today is Friday, April 3rd today. I just got up about maybe 10 minutes ago. It is currently quarter to eight in the morning. Um, <clears throat> since my sleep schedule has been so messed up, I can't even tell you the last time I was up this early, but Mr. Jackalberry, oh, I thought he was gonna all show up in the background and stuff, no. Um, Jackal has his blood work today because it has been three months since his uh, incident with his liver. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, basically Jackal, my dog, got very, very, very sick and we didn't know what was wrong and he had to be hospitalized and um, here he comes. Here he comes, there's the boy. Hey honey, I have to go to the doctor today. I have to go to the doctor. I'm gonna go to the doctor. He was very, very sick, and today is actually his um, blood work. So we're going to check his liver levels. He has been on the Ursodiol medication for the last three months, and he's been doing really well on his new food and everything. So we are just going to go get everything checked out today, uh, make sure everything is good, make sure the medication's working and whatnot. I'm going to hopefully, fingers crossed, film today when I get back. And then um, I have to go pick my boyfriend up from work because his car broke down on the way into work. I got my emergency room bill today, $700, $700 to go to the emergency room. And mind you, I have health insurance, okay? Yeah, that just goes to show you how fucked up America's healthcare system is. But yeah, so that's how my morning is starting out so far. I am currently making some coffee and then I am going to get ready because I don't really need to get ready because I'm just dropping him off at the vet. Like I can't even go inside the vet's office because of everything that's going on. But I just, I want to feel good. Like, look at me. Like, what is this? This weird creature. I just want, I just want to feel cute. I want to feel pretty and I want to film today anyway. So all the more reason to get pretty. We'll just, we're just going to have to see how it plays out, but I'm going to go finish my coffee. I'm going to get ready and I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye.
Hey guys, so it is now like way later in the afternoon. It is about 5.40 right now. So Jackal had his appointment this morning, as you guys saw. I basically had to just hand him over, wait in the car for them to do the appointment because like they're not doing any person to person contact, you know what I mean? So I sat out in the car and then um, they called me when he was done and I am very happy to report that Jackal's blood work is all back to normal. His liver levels are back down to normal because the last time I talked to you guys about it his lovers lovers levels will were still a little bit high they have completely gone back down to normal so I'm just gonna keep him on the uh, Hills prescription diet food the for liver care and then I have to keep him on the your sodium medication but yeah he's doing really really well they did say that they want him to gain a pound and I knew that was gonna happen because I was noticing he was starting to look a little bit thin but basically I just have to feed him more food because Ever since I've had Jackal, I've always just fed like doggy kibble, like hard food. I've never fed wet food, so I never really knew how much to give him. And now I know to give him a little bit more to kind of fatten him up a bit. But other than that, he looks great. Everything looks good. $150 later, I am covered until November for vet visits. Thank God, fingers crossed. And now I am about ready to leave here in about 15 minutes to go pick my boyfriend up from work. Oh, also my emergency room bill that I told you guys the $700, I was able to finally, finally get through on the website and look at the statement. It was originally gonna be $5,500, but my insurance brought it down to 700. So I would much rather pay 700. Also, I have a really exciting package coming on Monday. So I have been, ever since this whole like quarantine thing started, I've been binging on Netflix. I'm sure like everyone else has, and I have been so obsessed with the Tiger King series. Oh my God, talk about funniest shit ever. Carol Baskin killed her husband. Anyway, so I have literally watched Tiger King four times. I'm in the middle of my fourth time watching it right now. And I had a shirt made for me and my best friend and it's supposed to come Monday. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be one of those shirts where like, in five, 10 years, we're gonna look back and just die laughing because, you know, it has to do with like the virus and that show. And it's just gonna be like a little time piece that me and my best friend are gonna have. I don't know, I'm really excited to get it. I'm really excited to open it and see what it looks like because I think it's gonna be absolutely fucking hilarious. I'm going to get these dogs all harnessed so I can put them in their seat belts and we will, uh, we'll get going here. All right. Puppies are all buckled in, and we're ready to go get daddy. I made it. I am at his work right now, and I'm basically just waiting for him to come out. The drive wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be way worse, but, you know, not too bad. I just hope we don't get in trouble for sitting out here, because I don't think we're supposed to be sitting out here. The puppies did really good, and they let mommy drive in silence. Yes. I actually had to turn on my air while I was driving. It was starting to get a little toasty. I'm gonna pick him up. We're gonna stop by the broken down car, grab some stuff in case it gets towed, and then tomorrow we'll figure out a way to tow it. That's the plan. Just what? Just what we freaking needed on top of everything else going on. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to let you know I made it. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back. So it is Saturday, April 4th today. As you can probably tell, I just got out of the shower. I had to wash my hair, shave some stuff. So I'm out now, I feel so much better, so much more relaxed. And today I went and checked my mail and I got that package that I was telling you guys about yesterday. So it was supposed to come on Monday and it actually came early so <laughs> i have not seen it yet i haven't even opened it i'm going to open it right now on camera i haven't even told my friend that they're here yet because i got one made for me and her so let's go ahead and open up these little tiger king shirts that i had made i am so blurping excited you guys <laughs> oh my god okay so this one's mine and then this one is the medium which is my friend so <laughs> Oh my god. So I I was watching, um, you know, the Tiger King series, which I am obsessed with on Netflix. Anyway, so I was watching the series and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And my best friend also watched it and she was just as obsessed with it as I was. And I was sitting there, I was like, oh my gosh, I have the perfect idea for a t-shirt. So literally as I was sitting there watching it, I hopped on my phone 
had these t-shirts made on my phone maybe like like a week ago if that and they're finally here oh my god i can't believe <laughs> okay <laughs> so here's what the back of it looks like <laughs> we have joe exotics mug shot right here on the back of the shirt and then on the front of the shirt this is what i put on it I know who's responsible for coronavirus and her name is Carol Baskin. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, that is so funny. His fucking mug shot. Oh my gosh, these turned out so good. So I got these made on uberprints.com and it was about $28 per shirt. And I know some of you are gonna be like, wow, that's like really offensive. Why would you put that on the front? Because like, it's literally what's going on in the world right now. So coronavirus and this show blew up at around the same time. So Carol Baskin, coronavirus. It's just funny and literally like if you watch the show, he literally blames Carol for everything. So I thought this would make a really fucking hilarious shirt. It's a shirt we're gonna look back on in like 10 years and be like, wow, I remember that time. So, and then I had the little tiger made on the front of it here with the writing. And then on the back, you know, you can't have a Tiger King t-shirt without Joe Exotic on it. So I got his mug shot right on the back there. Oh my God, this is fucking iconic. I need to send my friend a snap. I wanted to fucking show you this, dude. Holy shit. So I went and checked my mail, right? <laughs> They're here. This one's yours, the medium one, but I wanted to show you what they look like. <laughs> In the back. Are you freaking joking? Okay, so she saw the snap. Let's see what she says. Oh my god, this is so great. Oh, OMG, those are fucking amazing. I'm so excited about those. I can't wait to wear that shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I can't fucking wait to wear this shit. I'm so pumped. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday, April 5th. As you can tell, I'm wearing makeup, so I filmed today. I'm wearing doll parts on my lips, which I have not worn this color in probably four years, if I'm being honest. I don't really wear pink lipsticks all that often. And I was searching my cable, and I came across that the new Child's Play from 2019 is on here, and I have not seen it yet. So that is what I'm watching right now, and I will have to let you guys know my thoughts on it after I watch it. I avoided watching it when it came out in theaters because one, Chucky doesn't look like Chucky, and two, it's not the same voice. So I'm a little um, apprehensive about watching this, so I will have to share my thoughts with you guys, but it, it just started and I'm making some rice. Which is now done, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this movie and see how it is. It's definitely different so far, that's for sure. Looks so weird. Chucky. I'll report back to you guys after the movie's over. What do you think, Jackalberry? Can I? Thank you. Okay, so the movie just finished, and it honestly was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was actually really good. And I tried not to look at it as like a remake of the original Child's Play because I feel like at this point in time that would be just impossible and very stupid to do. So I just watched it not even thinking about the original. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and watch it as its own movie. And I actually really enjoyed it. The ending was a little bit dragged out. I feel like it was a little too long personally. But nonetheless, I really, I really did like the movie. I didn't think it was bad. So um, I actually thought it was kind of cute how much Chucky really liked Andy and really loved Andy. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of adorable. Like when Andy didn't have any friends and he turned to Chucky. I don't know. I thought I thought it was cute. I thought it was a good movie. So right now I am currently answering YouTube comments and I am editing this vlog. That is where I will probably end this vlog here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future vlogs and videos. You all are staying safe, staying healthy, staying sane the best you can during these crazy times. I'm sure the next couple 
couple of weeks are going to be rough, but, you know, as long as we follow the rules, you know, social distance, six feet apart, we will be okay. So just make sure you guys hold your head up, stay six feet away, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!